Welcome to the Magic Hour Talk Show. It's me, Paul Chapel, and special guest. Handsome Dave. I guess I can't say <laughs> special. You've been on here before. Yeah, yeah Handsome Dave. Anymore. My boy, Handsome Dave. So how you been uh, handling this this uh, isolation, man? I've been loving it, man. Just relaxing and, uh, you know, I've prepared for a long time for this. and uh, Playing video games. The sticks are uh, break, <laughs> getting broken again, trust me. <laughs> I can't stand people who've been complaining. Have you heard heard people complaining on Facebook? Go, oh, I wish I could go back to work. Who yeah. wants to go back to work? Depends. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody wants to go back to work. Dude, I don't understand. Unless, unless 90, you're getting no money. <laughs> dude, it, it makes me mad when I hear people say that. 90% of the people out there hate their jobs. There's they very few people... Don't you think? Yeah, that's a, a lot of people hate their jobs, and, and the fact that they want to go back to work. I mean, it, if you want to go back to work, you obviously need money. Otherwise, why do you want to go back to work? Yeah. Are you that bored? If you're, Pick up if, a hobby. If your job is paying you to be out, no. There, I, yeah, yeah, it's got to be people who, who are low on funds. Because I do not miss work. I, what I miss, not what makes me bored, is I like to go out and eat. Yeah, out to eat, to just to go to... Go do anything sociable outside of 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 a cookout in your backyard is just not happening. And I'm feeling it. I'm starting to feel that. But, man, my back hurt from playing video games right now. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, I've been playing way too many video games. Well, see, I've been doing this. I've gotten, exactly, yeah. I've gotten to do a lot of stuff I've been thinking about. Like, for instance... I'm on, we're, we're pretty much on all the important social media now. We got, well, we've had the Facebook page, but I got a Instagram. Facebook business page. I got, um, I'm on Twitter now. Um, so the, the, my Twitter handle will show up on the bottom of the screen. Links down below. <laughs> but we're on Instagram, which I really, I really don't. You understand Instagram? I really, I just don't get it. Well, I mean, but I'm on there. Yeah, you're on there. You're on there. You can't do like direct links though, which kind of kills the purpose of for me for putting stuff on Instagram just to get you to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm on all the. You know, I was able to to set that stuff up um, because we have all this time. Off oh, exactly. Yeah, pick up a hobby. And I didn't really get. Uh, uh, I, I think the only thing I probably regret about social media now is not being on. Well, I was on Twitter earlier, but I didn't do anything with my page. Yeah. And now I've been kind of like looking into it every day, and it's actually a pretty solid uh, site because compared to Facebook, Facebook just had so many design issues that I that I do not like, and Twitter seems to be more streamlined. And just more accessible in a lot of ways, and I feel like it's easier to promote yourself. Yeah, it's it's definitely better for just basic promotion. Yeah, you know, and that's that's basically the only reason I'm on there. So it fulfills that. And and Facebook has always been what I use for to promote, and it, it just feels corny. And a lot of it's just a swipe through, you know, just just keep on going. Oh, he does that, and you know that's it on it's Facebook. Just, yeah. I, I, there are times I'm on Facebook, I'm like, why am I reading this crap? <laughs> Just so much crap on Facebook. But anyway, let's get into uh, um, one thing about Facebook is they're, they're, they're like tracking. And yes, the COVID situation. The COVID stuff. Now, I don't know. They have this map. You can you can like track it by um, county. So oh, what, we're, a, what a segue here. Facebook COVID, I did not. Yeah. <laughs> We're in Greenville, South Carolina, and surprisingly, we don't, according to their, not, like, like I said, it, this is not, it's, it says right here, Facebook uses aggregated public data from a survey. So I don't know I mean, how probably. accurate this is, but it says here in Greenville County, we're less than 1%. So That's not bad. Cause every few days, I how many times have you freaked out thinking you had it? Uh, I had it in a while, but there at the beginning of all this, uh, I got sick like twice. So I've I, I've had two or three scenarios where I was like, oh no. I start coughing the other night, um, 
and I had a runny nose. I'm pretty sure I just had a a, a, a cold. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? And that's all it takes, man. You wake up, wake up. And you after think you're drinking dying. too much with a with a with a scratchy throat, and you immediately think you got it. You yeah. Know? But I haven't lately, so. But anyway, <laughs> we both like being out of work, and I don't understand people who want to go back to work. I mean, because I guess because I have this. Yeah. If I didn't have this, yeah. maybe I, you know, maybe I would feel my life was a little bit pointless now. But I have this, so. Anyway, there's so many things that happen because we haven't been doing shows. We yeah. haven't talked about uh, one of the oldest things that I could think of was the fact that because um, I think one of the other shows we did, we were talking about the the specs on the next Microsoft console. Yeah, Xbox came out with a, with a list of specs for them. Um, it was but, close. Yeah. And this is March. And this, this article came out March 18th, but Sony revo- revealed their full PS5 hardware specs. And it was a boring reveal. Well, it, it, it says right here, it, the CPU is clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. I think the Xbox is going to be 3.8 gigahertz, which yeah. isn't a big difference. No. I mean, it's almost negligible, but it does give them bragging rights. Um, they're both using AMD this time. Yep. yep. As far as I know. Um, it says 10.28 teraflops. I think uh, Xbox the Xbox has like 13 teraflops. Yeah, they're, they're, they're beating them out. Um, the RAM really disappointed. I got because I was like, RAM is one of those things, man. You want the most as po- possible. Yeah, because you're just gonna. Well, they, they Sony try to say that there's you know they've done extensive you know uh, looking into how like you know who uses this much, how much of this person you know talking to the developers, and they're like 16 is where where it's at. 16 and is like. It, it's it can okay, be. but like when you need, when you have all this pop in on a game like Grand Theft Auto, and you're driving, you got these great vistas and stuff. Yeah, you, you're gonna have, you're gonna be able to load more of that stuff in the background if you have more RAM. And from what I've seen, the uh, Xbox, unfortunately, right now is 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 beating PlayStation spec wise. Now they 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 talk about this um th- this was it their crazy uh the way the way they've integrated their memory and all that in and and uh, like the software side of everything PlayStation's trying to say that oh some of these spec numbers may seem like you know like where it's not as good but trust me the way we've integrated everything it's gonna work now nah, the Xbox is definitely currently beating. The PlayStation, hands down, spec wise. Does, and, it, make, does it make you want to get an Xbox? Uh, it does. I mean, I, I told a bunch of friends, you know, I was like, I'm either going PC or I'm picking the best console, depending on how good the consoles really? are. Currently, the Xbox is better. And not only that, they're having overheating issues, PlayStation. Oh, and, they are. They? Yeah, they're having heating issues. Um, and so they're worried about, remember, we had that, we think the last time we talked, we talked about the, the pricing and stuff. And mm-hmm. part of that is because they're trying to figure out how to you know, not have them overheat and that's going to cost more money. And they just recently come out uh, with a patent that they've changed their heating process, but it's still going to mess with the pricing. And with that and the COVID-19, who knows how many they're going to release. They're already talking about releasing less than the PS4, but either way, currently, and they're going to cost more than the Xbox. So they're going to be, they're going to be weaker, slower, and cost more so far from all the news that we've gotten. And so PS5 is not even an option for me right now. And that's not good. That's not good. They're dropping the ball pretty hard. But do you like... I, I, I've looked at there and I've never I've never owned an Xbox. I don't like... Okay, let me just put my cards on the table. I don't... I've never liked Microsoft. <laughs> Be, I know. Mr. If you're Mac old, man. If you're old as... But see, I wasn't always a, a, a Mac guy. Or an Apple guy. Oh yeah, I used them up to 2006, and I didn't like them. Yeah, I I, I, I don't like the. I always they, thought they're not reliable. <laughs> Red rings overheat. Yeah, they're not reliable. The design sucks. Yeah, like I've looked at the design on those Xboxes, and I've used like Windows 10. I don't like that design. Yeah. 
And Sony, you just get in there and you you're there. You don't have to go through all these little stupid little boxes. Yeah, there is and a, there is a lot to, there is a lot to process when you when you turn on an Xbox. I seen a buddy that was going through trying to send a party chat invite, and it, it almost looked like he was on a computer. Like yeah. it, it was like menu to a sub menu to another category within that menu, and all and 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 the wording too was not underneath a platform that was like so PlayStation. Everything is kind of like almost worded. Um, for gaming and with the it's, Xbox, it's, it wasn't it's at all. Des- the PlayStation is designed to get you in the game. Game, that's it. And the Xbox seems like it's designed to get you to do anything but game. <laughs> so I don't know. I just I, I don't. We'll see if PlayStation hasn't even released the look of the console yet. So yeah. they they this this but was all I remember done. telling you. I don't think they should have partnered. They partnered with uh, Microsoft on some. On the that streaming service, oh, the streaming do. service. And I was like, deal, why yeah. do they even trust Microsoft? I would not. I wouldn't even have real reveal my specs. Yeah, I mean, I, Microsoft did it first. They came out afterwards. See, Microsoft did this did this awesome little reveal. They even gave a YouTuber the console yeah. to uh, to do a big uh, reveal on it and everything. He opened the thing up and everything. And PlayStation did like a, a board meeting. Where they went over the specs like a like a like a college, uh, um, like like getting taught a lesson in a class or something. Like that. It was very very boring when they went over these specs. It was it was pretty bad. Who Sony? Yeah, Sony. Oh, okay. It was it was it was it was just for uh, shareholders pretty much. That's what it looked like. Oh okay. Yeah, and 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 then they come out with with weaker specs. Eh, they're dropping the ball right now. Well, they honest. got this SSD, which is I think is interesting, but it's only eight hundred and twenty five gigabytes, and I yeah. think the. The Xbox is going to have one terabyte. Yeah, it's going now to be we one. know. I haven't. I bought one game on disc for a PlayStation Four. Yeah, everything I've downloaded, and it, they're big files. They get they're re- boy Call of Duty. Now they're saying they could the, the files could be smaller because they're on SSD, so they don't have to be you know they don't have to copy over all the downloads over and over again, but. Look at Call of Duty right now. Call of Duty, 200 gig game. 200 gigs. With a 825 gig ter- uh, uh, memory, like, like you're going to have what? Your, you're going to have your whole, like, uh, your operating system's going to be there already. You're going to have, like, different applications like Netflix and stuff. Like, you're not going to have any space for, for two games on 825 yeah, gigs. That, that, that really what the hell is that? Me. It's I mean, useless. The one terabyte is not much more though, but but no, and they should be bigger too. Both of them are. are dropping they're balls. saying that they're gonna have, they're gonna allow you to use an external. Yes, but they don't even know what kind you can use yet. Yeah, for PlayStation, it's gonna be Xbox is gonna sell, um, uh, one terabyte, uh, like extra ones, like external, but they're actually internal. They actually have a slot on the new Xbox to put in an SSD that they make, but who knows how much that's going to cost. They both drop the ball on the size of their memory, but I mean, they're going to be, they're going to be 10, they're going to be five times better than new, the current consoles, but uh, I'm not really looking forward to it as much anymore because just from everything I've mainly cause PlayStation screwed up, man. <laughs> I wanted a PlayStation and currently they're screwing up pretty bad. But we'll see if their pro version is better and cheaper and and well I don't know. We'll, oh yeah, we'll I see. forgot about the pro version. Yeah, they, they'll make a pro version for sure. That's the first one I bought with the PS4 because I waited. I waited like two years. Before. Yeah. I'm not a big gamer, not really. See, X, Xbox is one they they released the specs on. I believe that's their that's their top of the line. They're gonna release another one that's cheaper and and, and not as good. So. I mean, with this PS5 that that they're showing right now, if that's their bottom line, if they make a better one, then they may blow Xbox out of the water. I mean, they did it with the PS3 toward the end yeah. of the sales. You know, they they beat them, so maybe that's kind of their game this time. Who knows? But they're tracking behind right now for sure. Moving on to Call of Duty. Yeah. Oh my. What, what do you brother. first of all? What do you think of Warzone? You've given me some great. In fact, uh, if y'all want to watch Dave's uh, latest matches on Warzone, I think you've given me five uh, yeah, few, Warzone yeah. victories. Yeah, a bunch of but my clutches. You can watch three of them on Power Up. So check that out. Um, 
if you put in power up in the search bar, it won't come up. You have to put power up archive because I changed the name. And it is still, it's not popular enough to take over that name nah, yet. Nah, we'll, so we'll get Power there. Up Archive. Power Up Archive. Yep. If you want to see some of his games, they'll Got be released uh, eventually on, on the Paul Chapel channel. Yeah. But until then, but what were you going to say? Uh, it's fun, man. It's a lot of fun. Uh, is it everything? Because I remember you were so excited I, about that it, game. It really is. Was it, it really everything is. you wanted it to be? It, it is. I think so. And the game runs great. Uh, mechanics are awesome. Uh, it's hard to win. Hard to win. I only have like 25 wins, and I'm in the top like 8% in the world. That's how hard it is to win. It's mm. uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, I go for – I'm trying to go for a lot of kills the last few weeks, um, you know, and so I'm not really looking to win. But still, though, it's really hard to win. Um, and – Currently, though, it was beautiful. The gulag, you know, having to come back. I was winning all my gulags. You know, I was like, this is it right here. This is why I want to play this game because I'm never going to die. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to win my 1v1s. And uh, then you realize when you're in the gulag, uh, people can throw rocks at you. Okay. Yeah. So you get, and it stuns you and it'll take damage. You'll take damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've seen someone die. They threw down a bouncing Betty, and a person in the stands threw a rock at the bouncing Betty, killed him. Okay, <laughs> okay. there's that, and, and then, I think that's and, then awesome, though. and you hear the crowd is cheering the whole time while you're in the gulag, like you're in a fight at a, you know like a gladiator. So you can't hear the other person. So a lot of times you'll die by somebody that's shooting from behind because you never heard them. So the the gulag I thought was going to add this super competitive way to get back in the match. They they added all that extra crap going on and not be able to hear your opponent, so it lost its competitiveness. And that's what I've come to realize with Warzone: it is not competitive. It is not. It is not a competitive uh, battle royale at oh, all. Really? No, it's not competitive at all. It, the The only thing that the thing that makes it fun is the crazy plays and and the amount of kills you can get because there's so many people. And, 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 you know, getting to come back, there's a lot of ways to come back, you know, that's great, but it's not competitive. It's they, there's so many aspects that make it uncompetitive and the gulag, unfortunately, what I thought was going to make it competitive is mm -hmm. one of them because it doesn't matter if you're playing from a TV or $800 headphones. Do you're you not really need the, the gulag though? You got the self revives. You got self revives, but if you get shot while you're in, so you can get thirsted really easy. You get finished off after you're knocked. Like, mm -hmm. and but no, then like, people timer. can buy you back and all that. Yeah, well, money's hard to come by if it's late game. But it's it's there's so many ways this, and to it's, stay in the game though, and that's great. Besides gula, and that's also the buying back people stuff. That's also one of the things that make it not so competitive. You know, they can just come back if one of the teammates got a bunch of cash. That loser lost his one v one in the gulag. Just buy him back. You know they times? got that from Fortnite, though, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of. I've, I've bought back teammates four times in a single match, and that's where all our money goes. <laughs> self res and UAVs, forget about it. No, we got to buy back friends in the good. And the memes, the memes for this game are hilarious. So many good memes, dude. Like, like crackhead, like, that, like, you know, lost his gulag. Like, hey, man, you got $4,500, you know? <laughs> like, like, yeah, they got. Uh, buy me back, bro. They got Tyrone. Um, Dave Chappelle's uh, that Tyrone oh, yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, yeah. Give me my, you got $45,000. You got, got $4,500. $4,500, yeah, 4, yeah. 4, 4, 500. yeah. It's, and <laughs> the memes are great, but the game is a blast, and I'm, I'm getting a lot better at it um, to the point that I might need some new teammates. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is a blast. It is a blast, except for this part right here. Yeah, have you seen much cheating? I have. We I've we killed a couple cheaters well, how do you know they're cheating? Because, uh, uh, say, they, they're not looking at you. Like, like the first set of cheaters we found, uh, they weren't even paying attention to us. Mm -hmm. they run, the storm was on their back. Like, we're watching the storm closing in on them. And we start shooting at them. And, this, and the whole team just whoosh, and whoosh, instantly almost knocks all three of us. Luckily, we had, we had head glitches at a rock, and they started to delete us. Headshots, boom. All three of us down to one HP. We go prone. They keep running. And we ended up storm camping them, um, and, and they ended up dying because it's mainly the storm. 
But every time we peeked, no armor, no armor, no armor. Like as soon as they look, I got yeah. killed by a guy the other day. Uh, we did not kill these cheaters. Um, I I broke the glass in the window. I go to shoot this guy. He's running across the street. He's not looking at me. Mm-hmm. And I shoot him. I get him half. All, I break all of his armor, half health. He turns. I'm looking at his character model. He jumps, turns, downs me before he lands on the ground. Just headshots. All headshots. How do they... And, and I bad. understand how you load cheats on in PC game. How do you do it on a console? You just No, no. It's cross-platform. It's cross-platform. Oh, so it's people on yeah. PCs that see, are actually cheating? See, you, the better servers... They're promoting the crossplay, so you enable crossplay. You're gonna get a faster oh, load in. You're okay. gonna get better ping, and but the problem with crossplay is you get all these PC guys, and it's so easy to cheat. Five dollars for a hack that'll make you see through walls and have aimbot. Well, I don't know if it's easy now. They've uh, they're That's, saying right I'm here, yeah. seventy thousand Call of Duty Warzone players have been banned, and I've heard less about it since then too. So. That maybe they're and then there's another something. article saying that they're corralling cheaters together in their own servers. Yeah, if they're suspected cheating, then they might be in servers with other cheaters. They'll just fill the whole server full of cheaters. How about just ban them if they're suspected for cheating? They have no integrated. That's a revenue screen for them, though. They you won't kind of people to come back. Yeah, but st- cheating can ruin like because like. A big thing like that was happening mm-hmm. is all the top streamers that pretty much promote the video game. Um, they they were talking about like I can't play this today. I can't play this today. Like all of them were like, nah, that's just cheating. They'd have four matches, three of them had cheaters in it. They're getting demolished. All of them have cheated. So it, so there for a little bit, it was bad. It was bad. I was in a search and destroy game with a cheater, and uh, it, they're just all over the place because it's so accessible. Some of them are even free, like uh, like the headshot aimbot. Mm-hmm. There's there's free ones out there all over the place. All they have to do is put it on there. I seen people at level 120 that were cheating. So there's obviously nothing for anti cheat system implemented in the game whatsoever. I remember back in the day I, when I played Counter Strike. Oh, in those old days, we used to. Did you did you do cheats in Counter Strike? No. I did. Oh no. <laughs> It got to the point where the game was getting boring, and one of the things you would do, um, I like to do, was wall hack. See where, yeah, see where they come just through. being able to see people through the wall. <laughs> it was just so entertaining, and I didn't have, I didn't do, I, I, I didn't do aim bots. No, because I just thought that was boring. Why yeah. would I want something? But the the ability to see people through the walls and knowing when they're coming around corners and stuff, yeah, gave you an advantage, and. And it's just very interesting. Just it just made the game more enjoyable for me at a certain point. Yeah. But that was back in the day. I well, a, I hate people. I don't understand why people do it on brand new games. Like. I just don't like aimbots. I, I don't think why would you want to play a game? Yeah, well, there's no fun in it. And you're not doing anything. You're just walking around and something else is shooting for you. Yeah. You ought to you ought to hear my buddy Zach flip out when we hit when we come across a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's like, he's, like, he's like, oh dude, he gets so mad. He said they're lower than <laughs> they're <laughs> lower than dirt. <laughs> Zach is hilarious. I know about Zach oh, and what the kind of stuff he says. He's outrageous, dude. Do a lot, of, a lot of things about this game is what I wanted back in the day because I remember back in the day in Counter Strike, the maps were so freaking small. Yeah, really small. And, I, and I and then I think you could only have up to. 32 players back then. Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking, man, I, I, I just can't wait for the day when we have huge maps like freaking, like we have in this game. Yeah. A freaking whole city. 150 And people. you got, uh, you know, 150 players or 200 players or whatever. I remember thinking that was going to be my dream to play. And now we have that and I don't even. <laughs> don't even play anymore. I don't, I just don't have time, but. But they've gotten better with the cheaters. The stuff I've seen y'all do in there, all the team working on that stuff, even gets, the team speak stuff, yeah, was not really a thing back in Counter Strike days. I mean, it, it was starting to be go there, but it's just so seamless now. Yeah, it and, is. And we had the bandwidth to do it when they're on the same uh, 
console or PC. See, that's a that's an issue. They just had a recent update um, that was quite huge, actually, and uh, mm. I, that was right after this this cheating article. Um, the the crossplay is broken right now. You can't play with other people. Like you can you can in like multiplayer or you can load in, but you better have a full squad that's on your specific device. So you know PC, Xbox, oh, or PlayStation, okay. because you can't you can't hear each other for some reason. The team speak doesn't work. Um, that you got the cheater issues in and loading into matches in regular multiplayer and in Warzone. Finding a match is terrible right now. Something is really busted on their servers. We had to queue in the servers the other day. So what does that mean? Where where when you log into the game, it has it puts you in a queue to wait to to get oh. on their service. So they got they having some real big server issues since their recent update. Um, hopefully that update included some uh, anti cheat software. Um, but yeah, right now p- trying to play with other other different types of platforms is is nearly impossible and the audio will cut out and you know all that team speak you're talking about at the end of the game like you can't hear your teammates not even your playstation like if you're on playstation you can't even hear those teammates and so like everybody's like just you know you're making call outs with nothing but pings you know you can ping stuff on the map and uh, the game's the game's a little broken right now it's actually in a pretty pretty bad state they implemented some really cool stuff with this last update but right now, uh, it's it's kind of broken. Like they got to do some fixing, otherwise, uh, it's gonna ruin this game. Hopefully, they do. This is a good start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With the cheaters, at least I've seen a lot less, a lot less over the last couple of weeks. And they're talking about um, they're trying to get people to watch Twitch more. I guess. Of course, that's who and they're giving it. people loot for watching certain. Following that Fortnite. Screamers like Dr. Disrespect, Nade Shot. I don't I see Ninja on here. Dr. Disrespect is awesome. He is epic. And uh, since we talked last time, there's a YouTube channel called Typical Gamer. They have been bought out by YouTube. Been Did you hear about, out? about that? Really? Yeah. Typical Gamer. Why do I feel like I've seen that? Let me look it up. He's bought they how is he bought out by they, YouTube? Um YouTube bought YouTube is getting serious about this game and stuff. They see that people are going to um you know everybody's going to Twitch or Mixer yeah. or whatever. Well, they, that, that's the one that Microsoft runs, right? Mixer. Is it called Mixer? Yeah, Mixer. Um I see they gave a contract to uh, specifically. Yeah, they bought these guys out because they have to. They have nine million subscribers. Okay. So. Um. This guy, I know about this guy because I was watching him play. He did when Warzone came out. He did a, a live stream. Yeah. And I was watching it. He was doing it on YouTube though. I've heard. I've heard it. I've heard him. I just can't remember his face. Well, I looked at it just now. Let's see if I can find that art. Well, I guess he puts up so much content. Yeah, he throws it out there, Lord of mercy. But he had a thing talking about how he's got several people playing video games with him. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they're buying people out, man. Hey, YouTube, oh, please, we get buy there. my little channel with my little gaming channel with twenty nine <laughs> subscribers currently. Please, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get on. Look, you ain't even subscribed to this guy. Look at him. <laughs> he got enough. He's got enough. Nah, he don't need me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They, they really are. They, I mean, you know they bought out Courage. Uh, this It's a big content creator, uh, pro player um, for Fortnite. They bought him out. In the midst of uh, midst of all that stuff with uh, Ninja and all them, you know, mm-hmm. moving and people getting bought out. They uh, hey, Yeah, I, th- I think uh, eventually. Th- didn't Dr. Disrespect get a, a, some kind of. With Twitch, yeah. He got a thing with Twitch now. Nick, Nick Merck's got something with Twitch. Isn't he going to do a, like a television show or something? I heard something about that. I don't know what's going on with that. Because he just got Cause that guy's a Twitch. personality. He's not yeah, really. Oh, yeah, dude. Watch his videos. Like He's a character there's, there's he's a, playing. 30% of them are cutscenes where he's doing his character only. There's no gaming. <laughs> but, no, nah, yeah, there's a guy, Courage JD. He got bought by YouTube in the midst of all those people getting contracts with other companies. So, yeah, YouTube's 100%. Going all in on this game inside of YouTube. Things. Look, I got. Hey, uh, we haven't talked about this. I, I crossed two hundred, two hundred thousand subscribers. subscribers. Yay! Thanks, thank guys. you. Thank you. That's thank great. Thank you, people. 
So I'm ready to be bought out now, YouTube. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm so ready to sell out. <laughs> Get me out of my regular job. Oh, man. That's funny. If I could just do this full time, um, me and Kurt um, have been trying to just, we're trying to put up more content that's replayable as yeah. opposed to, because uh, the virus hit and we couldn't really do as many reviews Yeah, because you can't go to the theater right now. So, but we decided, why don't we just do, we started doing something called Top 5. And it's been doing pretty well. And, yeah. and, and it's got a re, replay factor that reviews don't have. Because reviews, at the most, they're relevant for maybe three days when the movie comes out. Yeah. And a lot, of, a, a lot of the times when we were starting out, we couldn't do a review. We couldn't put a review up till Sunday. And most, most of the movies are coming out on a Friday. So by exactly, Sunday... Yeah. Everybody who's going to see it, everybody who's going to read a review is probably already seen it. Yeah. So, and but we couldn't we couldn't do anything earlier because we had to work both of us. <sighs> Gotta so, love it. So it'd be nice to not have to do that. Right. So, but we've been working on more content. Um, that we, like I said, it's more replayable. Uh, a year from now, you're gonna still be able to, to watch it if you want to because yeah. it'll be relevant. Um. But yeah, we've been focusing on changing some of, and he's doing, he's doing the Minecraft tutorials, which are very popular, for some reason. That game still I gets still hits. Don't, I, I still don't get Minecraft totally, Minecraft but Minecraft still gets it. His man. his, his uh, Minecraft stuff gets above average views. Which is insane. So does your stuff. I, I might want to add. Yeah, gaming. Um, gaming is gaming is hot, man. Gaming yeah, is so hot, especially everybody at home. What else are they gonna do? And gaming, game, like Minecraft, I, mean, I got I got friends still that play the exact same games I play, and then hop on Minecraft every day. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how you do it. I don't get it. it, it, it if the graphics were a little bit better, yeah. Um, and I'd played it. There's before. another game called Animal Crossing. I know everybody knows about this. Um, have you heard about that game? It's on Switch, though. I've never heard about that game. Animal Crossing. Kurt is doing going to be doing some some some. Oh, I think I've heard of this. Yeah. Content on this game. <laughs> oh, is he? Does he like this game? Welcome games? back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, let me turn down that. But is he going to is no, he gonna no, be see, that jolly? Huh? <laughs> is he going to be that jolly on the video? Well, his daughter plays it, so I oh, think okay. she's going to be doing the videos. Um, his daughter Grace. Um, but look at look at the graphics. The, the graphics on this game are are kind of simplistic, but they're better than Minecraft. Yeah, they're I better think. than Minecraft. If so. Minecraft was like more like this, <clears throat> now I think in this game you can build like islands of stuff. You build your own little stuff. I, I don't know much about it, but it looks oh, interesting. Really? <laughs> uh, it's very popular right now. Super popular. It's not a mobile game, is it? What is a Twitch kind of mobile? Well, it's like like a phone game. Is it a phone game? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you have a, have to have a, a, I could, a I switch could, I to could play do it. it, man. You know me. I'm a, I'm just a shooter only guy. But I just I just feel like that Minecraft game. If the graphics was a little bit better, um, but I'm not saying it's not awesome. This people have done some awesome stuff, um, in the game. In fact, I've been telling Kurt is that giving him some challenges. I'm not going to say what, um, but I've, you see a lot of people building like landmarks Yeah. on, on Minecraft. Like I saw somebody made like a old, uh, big Ben, you know, that clock in London. Yeah. That tower clock tower. They, they build stuff like that in Minecraft and, and some of it looks really, really cool. Oh yeah. Some people uh, do if some you look at some, stuff some of the there. modern houses, Minecraft, People have built some beautiful. Look at this. That's insane. How long? How long you have to play that game uh -huh. in order to look do at that? that house? Somebody did this in Minecraft. Now, when you look at the trees and stuff, it looks kind of stupid. But look at the, the, the that. Oh that, god, yeah, the Minecraft trees. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that looks terrible. But look that the house itself. Yeah, the house is actually dope, dude. That that's very. Now you put that. You, if you got to that point in the survival mode, 
you probably playing 12 hours a day for the last six years. <laughs> but that's probably in creative. The survival mode is yeah, really no, cool. that's that's definitely in creative. The, the the survival mode is is epic. Like I, I, I my buddy was giving me a run through, but um, I was like, dude, you lose your life in this game. Like you know, that's what it would take. Yeah, all that building. Do you see some of the building that that Curtis has to do? I'm like, oh, how? Who has the patience for all that, man? Yeah, mm, nah. But it, it people Especially, love it. People love it, man. This is one of those melt your brain games that you can just slide into when you get home from work or something like that. So those people want to go back to work because of COVID, you know. Pick up Minecraft and start watching some videos on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, let me see. Make sure my mic is still working. Yeah, I always freak out about my sound. We always end up screwing up our sound one way or other. Um, and I got somebody borrowing my other road mic right now. Fancy road mic. So I had to use this terrible, terrible. What do you call these mics? The Yeti. Is that your Yeti? Yeti. I hate. Yeah, I heard so many good things about it. I keep I, hearing good things about it. But man, man, they're terrible, man. The when sound we start quality actually is supposed to be using great. them in, in this setting with the the echo because there's a lot of echo in here. They, they're actually t- pretty terrible. Yeah, that's and it, those for your road scenario. mics are. Just perfect. Yeah, they got I it. tried to buy another one because I let somebody. Yeah. I, I let Curtis borrow to do because he has to do the the. Um, he's making video. He, he's making video. He, he he does the voiceover, and you got to have a really good mic to do voiceover. And he was using a Yeti, and in, and the first couple ones he did was like, yeah. Yeah. I, he was like, man, I wish I had that road mic. And then. The virus hit, and we weren't doing shows anyway, so I said, just take one of my road mics and do the voiceover. Yeah. And now, like, he's he's probably going to keep it because he's doing a lot of content. Good luck with editing. <laughs> good luck but, with editing over this, uh, the echo or whatever it is that's going to come from that Yeti today. Well, I got I to turn down very low, but I'm hoping it works we'll see, out this right? time. But I, I was trying to buy another road mic. No one's making stuff right now, so no you way. can't get one on Amazon. It's terrible. They're all sold out. That's in so many different places. I, I tried to buy the uh, the back paddle buttons for the PlayStation, the new little paddles, the attachment. Yeah. Uh, they're not making them. PlayStation's not selling them. Walmart's not selling them. You can't get in the factory right now. Third, third party companies sell them. They're forty dollars. Third companies are selling for almost two hundred right now. So people are trying to jit people because of this crisis, right? And that. That's annoying. That's annoying. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. You can't get, you can't buy anything right now, man. Unless it's essentials. <laughs> I'm about to run out of um, dishwasher detergent. Yeah. Like, <laughs> why are people hoarding that? Isn't it crazy? Like, I the asked somebody. Right now? I asked somebody at the grocery store about it. He's like, well, it's not so much that people are hoarding that. He's like, they use the same ingredients as a lot of this other stuff. That people are hoarding. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. That That's makes what sense. he said. So Why? Was, people are just blowing my mind. I'm going to start paper. washing my dishes by hand. Dude, the toilet paper thing is still blowing my mind. Every time I walk into Walmart, I never see toilet paper. We went to four stores. You can actually day. find it. Um, I go to Bilo, and they usually have. You got to buy the big. Walgreens. You got to buy the big ass. Yeah, you got to buy ones. Ones. You can go to Target. Target sells these 18 roll. Well, things those yeah. they usually have those. So we tried Walmart, Target, Ingles, and then we finally found it at Walgreens the other day. And like, like my wife went grocery shopping on X day, couldn't find it, and then we didn't wait till three days later to look. We're about to run out. I was like, babe, if you didn't find it day one, you better find it day two. Like you better look every day because right now, man, the people are just hoarding it. Yeah, it's my crazy. my thing is um. Paper towels. What? No one's buying those? No, it's hard to get paper towels. Oh, and there's hardly any of those too, yeah. And I use paper towels, I mean, for everything, because I, I microwave so much. Yeah. You gotta have paper towels to like cover it up. Um, yeah. That's the best way to cook stuff a lot of times. Um, wrap it in paper towels. Yeah. And I, man, I'm having problems with that. Um, I have a lot of toilet paper. People people worried about the wrong things. Like worry about your your health, man. Just calm down yeah, with I'm, everything else. Just just try to stay healthy, stay speaking clean. Speaking of which, I'm getting real starting to get fat, man. Not working. Uh, I need to start uh, I working out. Mean. 
They've, my my gym better be opening up real soon. Trust me, <laughs> I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of it. Yeah, we just we're we both got fur- furloughed. Uh, now is May 17th. If it was, we were supposed to go back. Yeah, two more weeks. Tomorrow. Yeah, we're supposed to go back tomorrow. Uh, we're, originally, we were supposed to go back tomorrow, but now is uh, they moved it up to uh, believe me, May 17th. Check. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> I'll get my 20 bomb hopefully by then. Uh, but that's pretty much all we got to talk. We got anything else you want to talk about? Uh, nah, man, nah, man. Nah. I think that's about it. I would like to thank my subscribers once again and encourage you, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe it, smash it. And if you've already subscribed, hit the bell so you know when another video drops. And uh, that's about it. You got anything out there? That's it, guys. Thanks, Thanks to for Handsome watching. Dave for stopping by. Thank you for having me. And we will see you when we see you. Thanks for watching. See you guys.